What is up guys, Photo Fever here and welcome back to another Tuesday two minute tutorial. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can easily and quickly remove the background in your photos using the new selection tool in Photoshop. And I'm gonna start right now. Now the selection tool isn't a brand new tool to 2022, but it has been updated so it is a lot more accurate and is actually reliable now. Uh, previously it was okay, but it didn't work with complicated subjects. But now it is a lot more precise and it also cuts out hair a lot better. So let me show you how you can use it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use this sample photo, which again, I got off of unsplash.com and the link will be in the description if you'd like to follow along. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate the background layer. This is just in case we make any mistakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and press Command J like so. Then what we want to do is we want to select the subject. Now previously I would have used the object selection tool or something like that, but now we've got a subject selection tool specifically for people. So what I'm gonna do is gonna go up to select and now I'm gonna go ahead and select subject. And as you can see, it has made a really quick selection that we can now cut out if we so wish. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the selector mask to show you how good these cutouts are. So if we go ahead and zoom into the hair, you can say it's done a really good job. It's not 100% because it never will be, but it is a lot better than the previous generation. This update has worked absolute wonders. So if you do need to go any, every, over any areas, all you need to do is just go ahead and select the refine edge tool. And I'm just gonna quickly go over any areas that you feel aren't quite 100%. So I'm just gonna go over the beard area that you can see here. And as you can see, now I've done a really good job. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to our output settings found in the bottom right-hand corner, and I'm gonna go ahead and select layer mask, or if you want to, new layer with layer mask. But I always recommend using a layer mask in this case. Then you can go ahead and simply click OK, and it will open it back up into Photoshop, where if we go ahead and remove the background layer, you can say it has created this really quick but easy cutout. And I must say, it is a lot better than 2021. Here is the before, and here is the after. And as you can see, the new selection tool is a lot more accurate and is now finally reliable, and I would definitely recommend using it in Photoshop. 